there on motion two, which calls for a commission to be set up to inquire into recent events and practices in the entire banking sector. Delegates, my name is Derek Nolan and I am a candidate for Galway City Council. I work for a large manufacturing company on the east side of Galway City. Part of my job is to look after orders and to manage uh, placement of orders for our customers. Orders have dropped recently. But it's sad to think that orders have not dropped solely because of, the supply, of lack of demand, but also because our customers can't get credit. In other words, good businesses providing employment across Ireland, paying VAT, paying taxes, are being eroded and undermined by our own banking system. Delegates, I have a confession to make. I used to work for the banks. <laughs> both in Galway and elsewhere when I finished college. It is because of that experience that I know that the ordinary bank officials and staff are not the people who should suffer our ire or suffer our blame. <laughs> they are just employees doing their day's work and are affected just as much as you and me. But it is undeniable that at executive level, an irrational and reckless instinct to meet profit demands lending ratios and capital utility rates led us to directly where we are today, where families and businesses find it so difficult to get a loan. People comment on how the banks lost risk awareness and objectivity when it comes to money lent and lost to developers. This is a point that has not been sufficiently explored. At the top of the banks and those who dealt directly with this market, these people were the same. The bankers were themselves were also the developers lending to themselves and lending between themselves. Themselves borrowing recklessly and fueling confidence in a false and unsustainable market. Delegates, it's worrying to think that there is a lobby out there, steady and determined, but at the moment subtle and careful. It believes that our anger will, anger will wane and our interest will fade. They honestly believe that they made no mistakes, the problem is not of their making, and that our intrusion into their world and domain is unwarranted. Delegates, there are seven billion reasons to disagree with this. And there are lost jobs, bust businesses, and a shattered economic reputation to tell us that things must be different in the future. Delegates, I applaud Labour's stance on this issue, and I'm delighted to speak in its favour. It is common sense to the core. Derek, could you conclude, please? Now. Common sense. Find out what went wrong, and make sure it doesn't happen again. Never again should so many have to suffer so harshly for the excesses of a privileged few. Thank you.